Howdy folks! Welcome to Season 2 of Lift Plays Imperion. Uh, today we are going to start a new game, uh, obviously, since it's a new series. And um, we'll do two, and uh, we'll set our seed here. One, two, three, four, five. That's amazing! I've got the same combination on my luggage. Uh, yeah, we're going to start on Akua, so let's get going there. Yeah, I thought about going to um, Omicron, but I didn't want to deal with the oxygen and being tied down to one location. So uh, we'll we'll see how this. Oh yeah, that's right. We got the here. Let's, let's. Ooh, hey, there's stuff over there. Look over there. Cool. Okay. Um, it's a nice view from up there. It's kind of cool. It gives you an idea of what's what's out there. Okay. So uh, first thing first thing we need to do is grab all of our stuff out of here. Um, let's see, we'll get a pistol, uh, drill, and let's see, food, um, oxygen bottles, we don't need those, we're on Akua, and then get my helmet before I forget. Uh, nice. And there's the dinosaur pushing everything around again. Okay, so, um, one of the things I've done in here is, which is really nice, is I don't have to spam the T key. Um, hey, there's the new cricket sounds too. Yeah, I don't have to spam the T key anymore because uh, I've got um, a mouse mapping for that, and I'll show you that real quick here. Um, we'll flip over, and here is um, the Logitech mouse thing. So on my Imperion profile, what I did was I set this this button on the side of the mouse here. Um, does the T key and it just toggles it. So when I um, when I press the side key on the thing, it just starts. It just holds down the T key, which is pretty nice. Um, so I can uh, <laughs> cricket sound. I'm sorry, that cracks me up. Um, so yeah, it's really going to sound funny at night, isn't it? Uh, <laughs> but anyway, yeah. What I want to do is um, I think I'm going to run that way where I, we saw that stuff. It looked like a portion of craft ship so maybe we can go over that way um, but yeah as, as this is really nice um, and so if you're enjoying uh, the game and you like uh, don't like having to spam the T key when you're running around gathering stuff or when you're mining it's this is really nice um, to have so uh, the Logitech gaming mouse I'm sure other mice do the same kind of key mapping stuff too but um, yeah, I thought I'd mention that and show you how that how easy that is to set up. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna run around and grab stuff on the way there. There's level two already. Um, you know, it's funny people complain about uh, you know the XP thing being grindy, and you know I've said before I don't really like the way it's set up right now at the moment, um, <laughs> and I really really don't want it to be part of the final game, I'd be the first one to start writing mods to get rid of it, uh, the tech tree, if if it were set up the way it is now. But um, hopefully they'll be changing that in the final version, or in future versions, and, and hopefully kind of soon too. I'd like to see it connected to um, doing research, and either that or doing skill points, you know, where shooting weapons get, makes you better at shooting weapons, and allows you to figure out how to improve your weapons. Uh, and that kind of stuff, instead of, um, you know, uh, picking up aloe vera, yay, I've got, I've got aloe vera now, I can, um, you know, build a better weapon, and that kind of thing. So, uh, yeah, let's get rid of these, because we're not picking them up to keep, um, and we can eat the corn dogs, so we can keep our food maxed out as we're going along here and I think we're just heading over this way and there's a magnesium deposit too. It's cool. Okay. Um, so yeah, you know, I thought about starting on Omicron and the thing is, you know, the funny thing is people talk about the XP thing being grindy and I, like I said, I don't really find that to be the case, but the, um, the uh, oxygen on Omicron, the way you're starting is you have pretty much nothing and you have to be near um, you have to be near water in order to uh, keep your oxygen supply coming 
and until you build all the dependent stuff um, that's needed, did I just pick up all those things? Okay, yeah. Until you until you uh, build all the stuff that's needed to um, to to get your oxygen uh, supply. So yeah, basically you have to build a base. You have to build a generator and a fuel tank and a constructor, and then you have to build an oxygen tank and an oxygen station in order to be finally able to you know not freak out over oxygen. And the thing with that is. Um, the problem with that is that in order to keep your oxygen coming, you have to um, use those small bottles, and and so you can barely keep up. Your generator can barely keep up with that, uh, as far as I can tell. And so you're pretty much forced to stay right next to a body of water. You have to put down your your uh, which call it. You have to put down your uh, um, small your survival constructor right next to or in a body of water and so you have to kind of stay close to that and and uh, you know your uh, whatchamacallit not the not the survival constructor though the oxygen generator so you have to put that next into a body of water so your survival constructor has to be somewhere near that otherwise obviously you're not going to be doing very well um, going over and over you know long distances back and forth to, to run and get oxygen and then turn it into oxygen yeah. tanks you're not going to be able to do it because um, because you're spending all your time your oxygen running back and forth uh, so it doesn't really allow you to get very far doing that yeah. and uh, you know I I built uh, all those weapons for the capital ship and uh, you know the turrets building like 30 turrets it took I think an hour and a half of just constructor work, you know, doing stuff. And I was using two constructors, uh, two of the advanced constructors. I had them, you know, cramming out plates and um, um, copper wire and all that stuff. You know, I had them just just massively uh, uh, cranking out those things before I uh, started the main, you know, building all the actual turrets so that it would go a little faster. And, you know, it, like I said, it took, it took like an hour and a half to build turrets to put on my capital ship. Um, <clears throat> to me, that's that's more like a grind than you know just running around. Because um, I kind of like the running around outside. I don't like it at night, <laughs> but I like it during you know during the day. It's kind of fun to walk around and and see what's out here. And uh, not that I'm not looking forward to getting a <laughs> uh, a hovercraft going, but. Um, yeah, and you're never going to starve running around on Akua. That's the thing I like about this. Is um, what I like about starting here is that um, you know I can uh, I can just run around and grab food, and I don't have to worry about oxygen. So I can pretty much go anywhere I want to go. You know, if I just want to keep running west, which is kind of the the it was the original plan, but after I saw that, I think it's a crash ship. It might be a nice hideout. Um, but you know the the first plan was to um, just keep running west, you know, uh, run west and keep it daytime as long as possible, uh, <clears throat> so we don't have to set down roots and we don't have to uh, mess around with um, you know doing the oxygen thing. So anyway, um, let's see. I'm going to keep going here and gathering this stuff. And why is it not grabbing? Okay, there it goes. Yep, I'm gonna keep going and grabbing all this oxygen and everything. And ooh, there's another magnesium deposit. And um, we'll see uh, see if we can get all the way over to. I think it was over in this area somewhere. But yeah, we'll see if we can get all the way over there uh, without having to <laughs> without getting killed by drones or, or you know I don't know what the deal is with the dropships. I haven't seen one yet in all the play I've done. Um, so I'm not sure if they weren't added because I wasn't in 4.0 yet or what but um, So the, if there's dropships in here, this will be the first I see of them. I don't know how powerful they are uh, If the ships themselves shoot at you or if they just drop off the armed troops that shoot at you um, If you can if you can just run away if you don't like it. Ooh, there's a power station over there You know if you don't like it 
uh, if you don't like the troop ships, can you just run away from them? Do you have, you know, are you fast enough, or are you kind of stuck trying to fight all these dudes that they drop off? So yeah, I don't know yet, and uh, I'm kind of <laughs> scared to find out about that um, at the beginning of the game when I don't have much for weapons. Yeah, there's a power station over there. Okay, we saw that when we were falling, um, and there's a which call it too. And uh, yeah, we're still like halfway through the day. We're we're doing pretty well on the uh, staying on the day side of the planet right now, which is pretty cool. Uh, so we got that going for us. Um, <laughs> and uh, yeah, I think we'll we'll try going up over this hill. That's cool that we've got a decent sized magnesium deposit here too. Uh, size ten is pretty significant. Um, and hopefully I'll be able to make a bunch of coffee by the time I uh, get to that by the time I get a food thingy I'll be able to make tons of coffee um, let's see how much coffee do I have already I've got 28 beans yeah I usually I usually run it when I go out running around I usually take a stack of 20 to 30 with me uh, it tends to be about the most I use in, in a trip if I do use that much um, if I remember, that's the trick, is remembering. What is that right there? Oh, it's a hot dog, a corn dog. Okay. It, <laughs> it's on the top of the hill. It almost looked like another POI or something. And these things, these things are great for the small uh, med kits. So I'll grab those anyway. Um, you know, before, before uh, the XP thing, I ran around grabbing stuff anyway, so it really hasn't changed much of what I'm doing in the... Um, in the early game anyway. So like I said, I, I don't have a problem with this system. And um, I like I said, I don't want it to be final, but yeah, it's not, it doesn't force me into some grind I didn't want or anything. But I could see how if somebody else wants to just, you know, do whatever, I guess if they're wanting to build a capital ship quickly or something like that, I don't know. But uh, here, let's, um, Let's see. Let's try going across this. Because I know that thing was pretty close to the power station. So we'll try going across this thing. Um, still grabbing stuff on the way here. Get rid of these. I may need those at some point. And <laughs> it just grabbed it. It just grabbed it again. Okay. I may need those at some point, the pixie stalks, if I start fighting drones and stuff then I might need those. So I don't want to totally get rid of every last one of them like I do with the cobra leaves and stuff. Okay, um, yeah, let's see what else is over here. We've got more pixie sticks and lots of these T2s. I've got a decent supply of the T2s. I should be able to build uh, some large meta kits once i got a, a supply of whatchamacallits, um, supply of, uh, what is it, the medikits, oh, the aloe. So yeah, the aloe is a little bit harder. There, there, crashed MS Titan, it's there. Cool, and we're level four already. Okay. Um, so yeah, let's run over to, and you know what, I'm not going to go over that close, I'm not going to get closer to that thing. So we'll work our way into the water. Now I've noticed when you, if you just like charge running into the water, you tend to sink. If you walk in until you're about waist deep, there's a little pause and you switch to swimming mode. And uh, that seems to help tremendously um, with not sinking under the water. Because I had that problem quite a bit earlier on. Um, and that seems to, that strategy seems to have eliminated that problem. So let's see, well, let's grab this because um, we're going to need it. And these we may need in a minute. Are we hearing drones yet? Because if there's a crash Titan, I'm sure there's going to be at least a drone, at least one drone. Uh, so we'll see what we got here. And then the other thing is if we have, um, if it has the, uh, whatchamacallit, if the crashed ship has the, um, um, cargo boxes, then we can use those for our cargo space and not have to put down a base in order to to place down cargo to, to basically start holding our stuff. 
It's over there. Okay. I'll grab these real quick. Because these are med kits. Okay. And, you know, it's not like you need those early on in the game. The pixie sticks are nice, but the pixie sticks don't stack. And, uh, but they're nice and sugary. Um, <laughs> there's the drone. Okay, is he going to spot me? Let's see, I don't know if I can hit him from here. I don't see XP, so yeah, I think I'm out of range. So I'm probably just going to have to charge in like an idiot and hope I can shoot him before he... Yeah, here we go. Maybe we can get him to come this way. Come on. Come over this way. Really? Ow. And he's not even chasing you? Really? Come on. Come on, guy. Seriously? What is he doing? It's weird. Okay, I'm going to have to run in. Ah, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. Come on. Here he comes. Here we go. Come on. Get out of the... Get, 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 get. There we go. Wow, I actually got him with less than two clips. I'll have to look and see where the headshot is on those. That has to be what that is. Whoops. <laughs> Turn off the tiki. Okay. So, let's see. Uh, yeah, we don't have... Oh, man. Okay, I can get rid of that and that. And let's see. What else? Uh, that, 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 that. Um, that, that. Don't need sugar cane. I never use that for anything. And... Okay, so we'll get these. All right, there we go. Uh, all right, let's get the corn dogs here and at least max out our food again. Okay, so we'll go up to the Titan here and we'll see what, um, what we've got. Do we have? Do we have more drones patrolling it? I don't hear them. So I don't think we do. That's cool. All right, we got stuff. We have stuff. We can do stuff with our stuff. Ooh, there's, hey, there's another uh, survival constructor. That is awesome. Okay, that's really awesome. Did I, you know, I, yeah, it did hit me. Okay, all right, I can do that. Um, get this capacitor device here. These are those small, con small uh, cargo boxes. Okay. And more of these. What is that? Stomach pills? Okay. Um, let's see. Yeah, we've got ore. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Awesome. I'm glad this showed up when I was uh, looking around when we were crashing. Okay. Um, let's see what's up here. We'll go up here, and um, yeah, and we're still practically midday too. That's that's pretty awesome. Okay, yeah, you got to turn off the toggle. <laughs> okay, um, and watch out for that hole. What do we have here? We have lots more stuff. You know, I wonder if I can put that. No, you can't attach it to blocks. There's another hole. Don't fall through those holes. Okay, and last but not least. That's cool. And you know what? We can plant our stuff here. Um, we've got planter boxes, so we can plant our our sprouts and start getting some um, some stuff there too. Some points. Um, here. So we'll put down our sprouts. Pair things. Um, pumpkins, wheat, corn, oh, that's pumpkins. Is that two pumpkins? Oh, one of them's tomatoes. Okay. Cool. Okay, so what do we have for XP? We've got a ton of, whoops, we've got a ton of, uh, yeah, we're level four, almost level five. Cool. So, yeah, let me see what, uh, what's in this box, a reactor core, 
Did we check all the boxes? Hey, there's even an elevator going down so we don't have to climb up over that way. That's pretty cool. Although, uh, I think this is the only open ground over here. So, um, yeah, what I can do is I can put a survival constructor down here. Um, <laughs> that's awesome. So it's nice and protected. I don't think any, even any uh, of the baddies, the, the random, the wandering monsters can get in. So yeah, we'll just put our survival constructor here. We can put all of our ingots and all that stuff in there. We don't need that. We don't need that. Uh, yeah, that I'll keep with me. Um, so yeah, I can dump all this stuff. Growing pots. Yeah, I can add those onto the thing. Uh, I'm not sure if those plants will grow. I don't know whether it um, actually counts like actual daylight hitting the... Um, yeah, I don't want to put that in, in there. Uh, I don't know if it counts the actual daylight that's hitting the plants or if it just says it's daytime so the plants grow. Um, so I'll have to check that. There's a plant grow light too. And I don't need oxygen bottles. And I don't need that. So yeah, I think that's all of my inventory. Um, cool. Let me grab. Let's take a look at the top here. And see what's up top. See if we can get a lay of the land here. There's that power station. I think that may be one of our first missions is to take that thing out. Let's see. That's pretty cool. Okay. So yeah, um, let me let me take another look around this thing and I think we're gonna set up shop um, here for the time being, at least as a temporary uh, starter base. Um, I may build, whoa, I may build a base, uh, <laughs> I turned, didn't turn that off yet. Okay, yeah, I may build a base um, right next to this, or maybe even inside, the, if you can get the starter block inside this, and then, <laughs> and then do that. I wonder what would happen if that collides with the, uh, the, um, <laughs> I wonder what happens if that collides with the thing. Okay, yeah, so we got that box, we got that cargo box, we've got a couple more down here. Um, I think, don't we? Yeah, there's some down here. Is there anything in here? Yeah. We've got ores we can... We can, uh... Refine. That's cool. We've got the pills that we may need. Although I think the stomach pills are only useful if you, um... Oh, cool, that's what goes upstairs. Alright, is this the same thing? Yep, it's just an elevator. Whoa! Okay, so yeah, that's an elevator that goes upstairs, and that's our base. We have a base now. Um, it's <laughs> it's not the most completely secure from drones, I suppose, but uh, it looks like it'll do for keeping us safe at night from wildlife that's going to show up and having a place to craft stuff um, so we can get stuff crafting here. So yep, I'm going to do that, and I'm going to call the episode here. Um, so thanks for joining us in the new series, and uh, we'll see what kind of adventures we can have. Maybe we can try to, uh, I think we need to build weapons before we go take in, trying to take out that <laughs> that thing. I don't think we want to take out that power station with a, a, a pistol. But um, yeah, we'll see if we can get that running, uh, see what, what I can do, and, and uh, or maybe we'll run around the planet some more and see what else is out there. So join me for episode two, and uh, see you guys later.